Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make the prairie sheep patterns in the hoop Cinderella glass slipper keychain. It's a really simple project to do with your embroidery machine. So some things that you'll need beforehand is some fabric. I'm choosing to use this faux leather fabric. It's in silver. I'm hoping to match it with the zipper, Cinderella zipper um, pattern that we have. You will also need some thread. I'm going to use this thread that matches the dress, that, the thread I use in the dress. I'm also going to play with some shading, and so I have a little darker um, thread right here to kind of make it so that the, the inside of the shoe, and then some accents around the shoe. You will also need a key fob hardware so that it attaches, so you can attach it to a purse with a keychain. You will also need the um, I don't know, is this called a pliers? It's a special plier that came with my set. And then also the pattern. You will also need a four by four or larger hoop. I'm gonna use my five by five hoop and tear away stabilizer. And that is all you need for this project. It's a really quick project to do. So let's begin. All right, to begin, what we need to do is get our tearaway stabilizer in our hoop. And so what I'm gonna do is just measure how, how much I need. So I'm gonna take my hoop like that. It's not very precise. I'm just gonna take my rotary cutter and go like that. From there, I'm going to insert it into the hoop. So here is my tearaway stabilizer and it goes in just like that. Actually, gonna let some out because it's a little too tight. It's still a little too tight, it looks like. There we go. There we go, and it is pretty taut. Perfect. All right, the first step in this process is to do the placement stitch. So, that is what I'm gonna stitch first. see some of my stitches didn't go through but it happens sometimes but it's just a placement stitch so not that big of a deal all right so then the next thing we need to do is measure the fabric and so I go about half an inch above and then half an inch below so that means three and a half length all right I've cut two pieces um, the appropriate side, here is my faux fabric, and I'm gonna put this side down because I want the pretty stuff facing up. So this is gonna be the bean stitch, and this stitch will show, so choose a color that you like. I'm just gonna make sure it covers all my stitches. There we go, push down, and here we go. I'll have to cut that tail. that tail before it becomes an issue. All right, this next stitch is going to stitch the inner shoe and it is a sketch stitch. And I have like a darker blue in here. After this stitch, now you are going to put in new thread that will be the outer shoe. All right, 
right, so now we gotta change out the thread for something even darker to outline the heel. Now, when we outline the heel, there will be a few jump stitches. So if you have a newer machine, it will most likely cut, or I should say if you have a more advanced machine, it will cut those jump stitches for you. My machine, it does not, so I will have to manually cut those. That is how quick that is. All right, so I'm taking off my machine and manually cut them. All right, this next stitch is going to do some stitches um, that will kind of outline some embellishments of it. I'm actually gonna keep the same um, thread color I used before because it's darker, but you are more than welcome to change it. embellishment. And you will notice I have to cut that jump stitch. All right, now comes the last step after I cut that jump stitch will be to um, put the back on. All right, the back is super easy to do. I'm using the same type of fabric as before. This will be on the downside. So for example, I'm gonna flip it over like this and I'm gonna maybe clip some of these extra bobbin threads just so they're not in the way. I should probably grab my sharper one, but that's okay. Just move that to the side and get in there. There we go. Okay, and then the, the side you want to show will face up. So I'll go like that, okay, because I want that to show. And then I'm gonna take my masking tape and I'm just going to tape it on the sides. Now, if you want your bobbin thread, if you want the thread on the bottom to be the same thread as this, you will need to um, get your bobbin thread, wind that thread into the bobbin thread. <laughs> I love everybody. I the kitties now. I just scared the kitties. All right. But. You know, I don't mind having white on the bottom, so I'm just gonna keep it white. But like I said, if you do want it to match, you're gonna have to change that bobbin thread right now. Okay, once we have it taped, we're gonna take it over back to the machine. Yes, honey? Yeah? All right, here we go for our last stitch on the machine. All right, it is all done. We're all done with the machine. <laughs> you hope. All right, first things first, let's flip it over and take off this excess tape. Hi, are you leaving again? You gonna go to work all over, Quinn? Yeah. Yeah, you go to work. Okay, tape is off. Bye-bye. I'm just gonna clean up some of these stitches that kinda got a little bit extra on the bottom. There we go. All right, and now we're gonna take it out of the hoop. So I'm gonna just loosen it up a bit, just like that. Pull it out. And I'm gonna tear away the tear away the stabilizer. Try to get as much of it out as possible. Just like that. Pull it up. If you don't get it super close, that's okay because you're gonna cut it anyways. Now, you're gonna wanna get some sharp scissors. 
And we are going to cut around this little edge right here, okay? And how close you get is totally up to you. I'm just gonna start like this. So here is my um, hardware that I'm going to use. It's like a key fob hardware. And basically it just goes on the top just like that. And then I'm going to use this to squeeze it down so that um, these spikes go in. Now this should be on the front. This is the back. do this with a camera is hard versus if I was doing this without the camera. Try to get the angle right. Split it a little bit to make it perfect. Let's look at the other side. Looks good. Now we're gonna bring it home. All right. So here is the final product. It's a cute little shoe, and I have created this zipper bag uh, last week, and I thought it'd be super cute to go right here. So all you gotta do is take the keychain. Use the last per clasp, or I guess any keychain ring really. And there you go. Gives it a little bit more swagger. 